Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today at Amani's Library. We're going to be reading Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon. If you have a copy, run and grab it so that you can read along with me. Disney's Raya and the Last Dragon, adapted by Courtney Carbone, illustrated by Tiffany Deep, designed by Tony Federan. In the land of heart, a young girl named Raya slipped into the chamber of the dragon gem. This magical gem had the powers of the dragons to drive away the droom, dark spirits that turned people to stone. Raya skillfully fought a masked warrior who revealed himself as her father, Chief Benja. He was proud that his daughter had passed the final test to become a guardian of the dragon gem. Benja made a special meal for Raya. He included ingredients from the five lands that made up their world, Fang, Talon, Spine, Tail, and their home, Heart. Long ago, these lands had been united as one harmonious world called Kumandra. Now they were bitter enemies. Benja believed that Kumandra could exist again if everyone learned to trust one another. Raya didn't believe that this could ever happen. Benja invited leaders from the other lands to Heart but chaos broke out when Namari, the daughter of the Fang Chief, tried to steal the dragon gem. The gem crashed to the ground and shattered into five shards. The evil Droon were reawakened. Benja tried to ward them off, but the Droon were too powerful. He was turned to stone, while Raya and her best friend, Tuk Tuk, escaped with one of the gem shards. The Chief of Fang, Talon, Spine, and Tail each took a shard for themselves. Raya grew up to be a fierce warrior with one purpose, to find the mythical dragon named Sisu. Raya hoped that Sisu could bring back her father. After six long years of searching, Raya and Tuk Tuk finally found Sisu in the land of Tail. Sisu agreed to help, but first they would have to collect the other four gem pieces, one from each land. The tail gem shard was hidden in a nearby fortress, along with some hidden traps. Raya and Sisu successfully retrieved the shard. When Sisu touched it, she transformed into a human. Moments later, Namari and her surlots, giant cat-like creatures, arrived. Thinking fast, Raya triggered a trap that dumped sand onto Namari and her soldiers. Raya, Sisu, and Tuk Tuk made the quick escape. They headed for the docks, jumped into the water, and climbed aboard a shrimp boat owned by a spirited, street-smart kid named Boone. He agreed to take them to find the Talon Gem Shard. Sisu was thankful, but Raya didn't trust him. In Talon, Raya was tricked by a two-year-old girl named Noi and strange creatures called Ongis. The creatures pickpocketed the gem shards. After catching the little thieves, Raya realized this crafty group might be helpful on her quest. She convinced them to join her team. Meanwhile, the chief of Talon had kidnapped Sisu. She pushed Sisu out of the gates to Talon, and the Droon were waiting. Raya and Tuk Tuk suddenly appeared. Raya retrieved the Talon gem shard and rescued Sisu. The gem shard gave Sisu the power to create fog which allowed them to escape the Droon. As Raya traveled to Spine, Sisu told Raya that the world would be whole again if people trusted one another. Raya still didn't believe that, especially after they were captured and tied up by a fierce Spine warrior named Tong. Sisu and Raya's friends helped them break free, but they weren't safe for long. Namari and her army had followed them to Spine, Raya faced Namari alone to allow her friends to escape. Both were skillful fighters, but Namari got the upper hand over Raya. Sisu transformed back into a dragon and defended Raya. Everyone was shocked and amazed, Namari most of all. Raya and her friends fled to Boon's boat, and Namari and her army returned to Fang. Tong then revealed that he had the spine gem shard which gave Sisu the power to create rain. 
Sisu appeared to fly across the sky as she ran on raindrops. Now the final missing gem shard was the one being kept in Fang. Sisu wanted Raya to trust Namari. She convinced Raya to ask Namari to work together. Raya reluctantly agreed. The group traveled to Fang, where Noi and the Ongis brought Namari a gift and a note, asking for help. Namari sent out a flare signal that she would meet with them. Namari met Raya and Sisu in the woods. She brought the last gem shard, but she also brought a crossbow. Raya threw out her sword to defend Sisu. The crossbow triggered. An arrow hit Sisu, and she fell into the Fang Canal. The water dried up around her. Raya stormed after Namari. As they clashed swords, Namari said that she had never meant to hurt Sisu. Outside, Raya's friends were saving others from the drum. Instead of continuing to fight, Raya and Namari joined forces to help. With the gem shard's power nearly gone, Raya realized that trust was the only path to peace, just as her father and Sisu had said. Raya then gave her gem shard to Namari. Without its protection, she was turned to stone by the drone. Boon, Noi, and Tong handed their shards to Namari as well and were turned to stone. Namari put all the pieces of the dragon gem back together again, just as the drone closed in. The magic inside the restored dragon gem created a blast of light that destroyed all the droom. Rain began to fall and everyone was brought back to life, even the dragons. Raya reunited with Sisu and then traveled back home to Heart to find her father. Years had passed since they had seen one another, but Benja would always know his daughter. Benja's dream of peace had finally come true. Kumandra was restored. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like so we can read together again. Let me know what book you want to read next in the comments below. See you next time!